Hi, it's Michael, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the overflow drain gasket uh, in your tub shower. Now, uh, I have a situation here. We just had a we had a uh, remodel job in our condo, and uh, I had a very interesting situation occur. I was downstairs in the kitchen, and my wife was taking a bath, and uh, what she did is she filled up the water all the way to right below the overflow drain. And of course, the purpose of the overflow drain is to empty out the tub so it doesn't overflow if you overfill it. So when she got in the tub, her body weight caused the water level to rise above the bottom of the overflow drain and the water was going out of the overflow drain just as it's supposed to. I was downstairs and all of a sudden I heard flowing water in the kitchen coming out of the cabinet and I was horrified to find a literal waterfall of water coming out of the cabinet. And uh, I ran upstairs, I said, what is going on? And I saw that she was in the tub. So long story short, uh, I needed to take this cover off to find out what was going on because we don't have a rear access panel, unfortunately. So in order to take off the cover, you just usually, it's a Phillips, uh, screwdriver that you'll need and sometimes you have just a center hole other times you'll have two screws but just remove that cover and here's what you're going to find and what I found was that the contractor never installed a gasket it was not that the gasket was crooked or loose it's just there's no gasket there whatsoever so uh, the other thing I noticed is that the pipe is actually a little off-center so it's it's really cut too tall it should be probably about a quarter inch shorter and therefore I don't know whether this solution that I'm going to try to do is going to work or not but basically I went to Home Depot I bought this Danco overflow plate beveled gasket and this was only a couple of dollars I, I think it was like a dollar ninety one and basically this is a beveled gasket so you'll notice that it's thicker on one side than the other and that is back in the day most tubs had a slope uh, this is more, almost a vertical tub here this is a boots Maui cast tub and uh, this is a um, situation where actually the bevel is going to work in my favor because I have all this space here that I need to sort of fill up with this gasket. So installing this gasket is uh, really supposed to be pretty easy. Now, you, if you're watching my video, you may have seen some other videos where they recommend that you actually put a thin layer of Vaseline or petroleum jelly on each side of this gasket. And I've been told by some other plumbers uh, that that is not a good idea because that will actually degrade this much more quickly and uh, it's probably not necessary whatsoever. So I'm dispensing with that. I'm not going to put any petroleum jelly on here. Now you can see I have a little bit of side to side movement here and you should also be able to push it back a little bit. Now you are probably going to be in a situation where you need to remove the prior gasket. Maybe your gasket is so old it's just disintegrated. So you do need to push this in a little bit and probably grab that gasket and just pull it out and then using a paper towel or a cloth uh, you want to make sure that this area is clean and if you can get in there try to clean off the back side of it as well. So once we have that clean it's really a simple matter of orienting the fat end towards the bottom. Um, now some people will tell you you want to orient it to the 3 or 6 o'clock position uh, because if you don't have a sloped tub it really doesn't make much sense to have a whole thick bottom on it in which case orient it to the 3 or 6 o'clock position will probably give you a better uh, result but I'm putting it towards the bottom because of the gap which we just talked about so really you just have to push that pipe back a little bit just sort of work this in. This is a very soft foam. It's not a hard rubber, so it goes in here fairly easily, but um, still it takes a little bit of work, and I'm not going to make you suffer through this, so let me get this in here and I'll be right back. So there we have it. My gasket is firmly seated, and let me try to get you uh, a little bit of a close-up on that. So you can see that the gasket is uh, the hole in the gasket has been placed around this 
area here and they're just making sure that we don't have any bumps or kinks in it that it's uh, not being compressed unnaturally. Now what's going to happen is once I insert the cover back on it's going to pull the pipe and therefore compress the gasket next to the tub and that is what is going to give you the uh, hopefully watertight seal. So let's do that now. Now this is where you do want to tighten it up firmly, but you don't want to over tighten it because especially if you have a plastic fitting like I do, you don't want to potentially crack that. So you want to firm it down nice and snug, but just don't go overboard on that. And that will, uh, and then I'm also making sure that the drain holes are uh, perfectly at the bottom and not twisted too far. So that should do it, and uh, I guess uh, Next time I'm in the kitchen and my wife is taking a bath, I'll know whether I was successful or not. <laughs> so there you have it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.